Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to use static files such as images, JS and CSS files in HP.NET Core. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's begin with our video. So here I would like to discuss about why there is a special need of or a special requirement to store CSS file, image file or any other static file such as a JS file in ASP.NET Core. So in ASP.NET Core, a separate folder has been created www root, which ASP.NET has dedicated for storing any static content such as CSS, images or JS. And also it is by default disabled unless and until we enable it. So in this video, I will explain you how and where to store this particular type of files and also where is the setting which can be enabled so that we can access these files or use it on our pages. So let's begin. So now I am taking you to my project structure. As you can see inside the www root folder, I have created three folders or you can say three subfolders. The very first one is CSS inside which I have this particular CSS file, which I'll be later using in my test application. And then there is an images folder in which there is an image being stored. And the third folder is scripts folder inside which I have a JavaScript file. I'll open and show it to you. As you can see at present it is empty and later on in the project I will add some script to it. So let me close it for now and we'll move to the startup.cs file where we'll do the first setting which is very necessary in order to enable the access of static files from the www root folder. So inside the configure method, I'll be adding this particular line app dot use static files. This particular function will enable the access to the static files inside the www root folder. Otherwise, without this particular setting, even if you store the static files in the www root folder, you won't be able to access it, even though you are given the right location or the right path. So let's close this file and now I'll be adding a controller to our project. I'll be creating a small test application which will illustrate you how to access images, CSS and JavaScript files from the www root folder. So first I'm adding an empty controller. I'm naming it as home controller. Now I'll click on add. So our controller is ready. At present, there is no requirement or no coding required inside the controller. So I'll directly move to the view. So I'm adding an empty view now without any model. So as you can see, the view is ready. So the very first thing I am dragging and dropping the CSS file. So as you can see, the CSS file has been linked or referenced in my page. And you can see the path is directly CSS slash style sheet. And there is no sign of WW root. So this is how the paths will be when we are actually using it. Same way, I have dragged and dropped my JavaScript.js file. Now I'm creating an HTML table form where I'll be adding a text box and a button. And on the click of the button, I'll be displaying the image based on the name of the image, which is entered in the text box.
now this is the row where i'll be displaying the image i am naming this row as this particular row will be hidden and it will be visible when button is clicked and image is displayed so as you can see i am setting it as display none so by default it won't be visible and inside the table cell i am adding an image element now let's move to the js file where i'll be creating a function which will be called on the button click event and which will be used to show the image based on the name entered in the text box so first i'm creating a variable for holding the name value which will be fetched from the text box now i'm referencing the image element using its id now i'm setting the url of the image in the source attribute of the image element i'm making use of string concatenation to create the path as you can see i have given the name of the folder then value of the text box and then the file extension Finally I am referencing the table row which was hidden and I'll be making it visible I am making use of display table row instead of display block because if you use display block then the table alignment will be distorted Now let's move back to the view where we'll be assigning this particular function on the click event of the button So with this our application is ready so we can run it and see it in action So as you can see the text box and the button is visible I'll be entering my name in the text box Now I'll click on the button as you can see the image is displayed So today we learned what are static files and where to store it how to use it and also what is the setting to enable it in isuratnet core so with this we come to the end of this video the link for the source code is available in the description thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon 